Republican side. And you've got an increasingly emboldened, out of control Donald Trump, who's not being taken into account, who's not being called to task, because we are all focusing on what's going on on the Democratic side. It's taking out all the oxygen. In the last week, we've seen what's happened to people around Donald Trump. Rudy Giuliani disbarred. Steve Bannon went to jail, went to prison. Nobody talking about that. Nobody talking about how Donald Trump has pretty much gotten immunity from the Supreme Court now. And this is the guy who's calling for retribution and vengeance and wants to be a dictator for one day. So this guy, vengeance, retribution, Donald Trump, now thinks he's got immunity. What could go wrong? And we're not focusing on any of that because of, of these throes of agony going on on the Democratic side. From where I stand, as somebody who does not want to see Donald Trump elected under any circumstance, I would just like Democrats to figure it out and figure it out quickly. If, if it's Biden, fine. If it's Harris, fine. If it's Clint Eastwood's empty chair, fine. If it's any empty chair, fine. But let's just focus on what it is and what we've got to do to uh, make sure that Donald Trump does not get reelected.